And K Telco Sports presents women's volleyball. The Bluffton Beavers will face the Ohio Northern University Polar Bears. Tonight's game brought to you by First National Bank. Keyhole Pizza. Precision Strip. Winners Quality Meats. NK Telco. Welcome to Ohio Northern University. Dave Helmstetter with Jeff Hanschen for Ohio Northern University Women's Volleyball. And we're just moments away from the introduction of our players and our national anthem here on NK Telco Sports. And tonight we'll start with the national anthem with Dr. Adrian Thompson Bradshaw here on NK Telco Sports. and Bradshaw with a rendition of the National Anthem here at Ohio Northern University. Welcome here on NK Telco Sports. Dave Helmstetter and Jeff Henschen. College Volleyball Division Three style are introducing the lineups and rosters for tonight's contest between these two squads. Just up down the road or up the road from each other. Sophomore number four, Becca Pack. Sophomore number five, Jenna Woods. As the Bluffton six, starters introduced, Freshman, number seven, Ayla, Ella Taylor. Becca Pack, Senior, number four, number, 14, number five, Jenna Kelly Woods, <laughs> number Sophomore, six, Casey six, Sager, Ella number Ella seven, Ella Taylor, Taylor. Number, Freshman, number three, 14, Abby Kelly Armentrop, and number 16, Steve Emma Oregon. Those are the starters tonight and for Taylor, the Bluffton Beavers under head coach Steve Yarnell. Beavers come in at three and six overall. Now for the home team, the Ohio Northern University Polar Bears. The starters for ONU include junior number three, Grace Number three, Grace Conrad, a junior. Number 14, Ava Ellinger. Number 20, Grace Ermer. Number 22, Lauren James. Number 23, Sonia Dollin. And the Rivera, number eight, Rachel Jennings. And number 19, a freshman, Riley Haberland. Those are the starters here tonight. Let's move on to our keys to the game tonight, all brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Jeff? Well, for the Bluffton Beavers, they know it's important to be solid. 
have solid play and serve receive. Try to get that first touch and get into offense. They also want to cut down on unforced turnovers. Don't beat yourselves, force the, the polar bears to get their points their own way. And don't get in negative runs. Limit those runs of the Northern to no more than two or three points. And for Ohio Northern, they know they want to play consistently and keep their focus and don't overlook the competition. They want to be critical between the pins on offense, using all their attackers and also use their veteran leadership. But they come back with a, a stronger cast to here, a, a lot of leadership. We'll have to be a little bit younger tonight, so the, they're going to rely on the veteran expertise, if you will, of their squad to help them prevail in their first home match of the 23 season. Yeah, lots of good things for Ohio Northern University. Number one, a new coach, first home opener, or first home match of the season, and a number 23 ranking for the Polar Bears. Yeah, not all bad, and you talk about... You know, playing in this environment, the overall record in this arena is substantial. They're winning 75% of their games overall, and I think around about an 85% home winning percentage here on campus. So the Polar Bears can take care of home court, and they're going to look to do that again. They dominate this series, winning 70 of the 83 matches played. Of the 83 matches played, 70 belong to the Polar Bears. Last time Bluffton won was in 2012 at Bluffton. And we're just about to get started. Bluffton will serve first, and off we go. Nice dig by the Beavers, Dave, but it comes right back. At the net, and it goes out of bounds off of Bluffton, and Ohio Northern will take the early 1-0 lead as Grace Conrad out of Sheridan High School will serve it up. The junior at five foot six. We'll see if she can continue it for the Polar Bears. Ellinger got the kill for the Polar Bears. Strong hit, and it's going to be long. Aaron, Aaron Wagner tipped point kill for Wagner. A left-hander hit it very solidly. She's a junior, six foot one tall, but a left-hander out of the right front makes for a good setup for her. And we're 2 nothing. Conrad with the serve. Comes the set. Woods with a strong hit. Comes back across. Point goes to Ohio Northern. Boy, there was an attack here, but give number three for the Polar Bears, the libero, Grace Conrad. She accepted that hit by Woods, and Woods hit it hard, but nice dig there by Conrad, forcing the Bluffton hitting error. Here comes the set at the net, over to the right side, soft touch. Pulled out of there by the Polar Bears. And Ava Ellinger gets the kill. That's her second of the match already, and a, another nice play digging for the Polar Bears. I believe it was number 20, Grace Erm Ermer came up to uh, field a diving save, and that led to the kill by Ellinger. Conrad continues in serve at the net. Strong hit there by Dahling. Comes back over Beavers. Woods with the, the hit, but Polar Bears will keep it alive as Ellinger will send it across. Here comes the point for Lockton as number 14. Number six. Number six, thank you very much. Casey Sager, and she didn't go with a lot of speed. She just found a hole in the Polar Bear defense and dumped it down, and this time the Polar Bears made no contact. Have done a nice job digging, but not that time. 4-1 our score. Lawhorn with the serve. Abby Lawhorn out of Mechanicsburg High School. Used the top of the tape to record that service ace. Her serve caught the tape that really obviously just dis dis uh, directed the ball and it goes down for a service ace. Lawhorn with the serve. Jennings over to Wagner. Into the net it goes. Point goes to Iron Order. Yeah, Wagner, you know, she's left-handed. She hit her first kill from the right front that time in the left front, muscled it through a couple of defenders. And I said earlier, number three, Conrad was a libero. She has not, but she had made that nice dig earlier in the game. And four well, bears in the net that time. I think they blocked it off of the pin. Kill will go to Jenna Woods. And that's going to have Kelly Armand. Lima Shawnee to serve it up for Bluffton. And number 10, Chloe Barnett into the front row for the Beavers. Armantrot sends it deep. Picked up by Ellinger. Here comes the kill attempt. 
successful by Sonia Dolan. Yeah, Dolan, again, a nice, they got a lot of weapons in the front row. She hit that one kind of out of the middle. When you have multiple attackers, it's tough to go up with tandem blocks, and Dolan got the kill. Rachel Jennings serves it deep. Lawhorn gets it up front. And that sends it across. Here comes the set. James goes for the kill. Beavers on the defense. Back row it goes to by Barnett. Here comes the kill by Wagner. Gonna go out of bounds. Gonna go out of bounds. And boy, Wagner, what a force she is. Left-handed, you know, that's a tough spot for right-handers to hit out of. But with her being left-handed, we've seen her deliver two kills, and she's had a lot of energy behind those. They're very tough to stop, and the 6-1 junior has done well here to start the match with three kills. Lefton on the attack. There's the hit. Gets it through the block, does Barnett. Coming right back at it is Hart Simpson. Wagner keeps it alive. But ball is in, and the point goes to Lefton. I missed how that all happened. I was watching the defensive player. You know, they saved it, but it made it for a tough angle to hit the ball over to keep it in between the pins, and attack error against the Polar Bears gives the Beavers the fourth point. In serve, Jenna Woods out of Riverside. Kill by Katie Parkinson. And Ohio Northern goes up 8-4 on her first National Bank home first scoreboard. 5-8 senior Carson's in really elevated well and got on top of the volleyball. And those, those downward attacks are tough to defend. Not a, not a lot of chance to make a play unless it's right at you. Carly, Caroline Hensley with the serve for Ohio Northern. Here come the Polar Bears on the attack. That one never made it across. That one caught the tape and stays on the Polar Bear side. What's really neat, you know, when you run a 5-1 offense like the Polar Bears do or with a setter, the setter gets a second ball no matter what. And these players just get out of the way and let the setter for the most time come down and they, they can deliver an excellent ball to the attackers. Blue Hardy back over the woods with the hit. Polar Bears trying to get into position. At the net. Eight to six. I believe it. Was, yeah. Back into it. I believe it was Flu Hardy that pushed it through there, and a nice little comeback here for Bluffton. They got off to a slow start. It seemed like Northern had some attacks, and now Bluffton's returned in the favor. They trail by two. James. Powerful hit by James. It will go off the pack, and James gets the kill. Boy, the verticality though, James, up in the air, and again downward directory or trajectory of the volleyball. You know, if you don't hit it clean, it's it's deflecting off somewhere, and this one flew out of bounds for the Lauren James kill. In service, Grace Armour will put it into the net. Point goes to Bluffton, 9-7. Into the lineup comes Kelly Armantrot and Emma Oregon will rotate back in for Bluffton, and Oregon will serve it up out of Ursula Academy in Lambertville, Michigan. What a tough serve. James, soft touch. Beavers communicating. Here comes the hit, but it goes into the net. Armand shot. Just couldn't quite get it over the net. Yeah, that's true, but she also had 20 fingers looking at her in the face. The double team block was there. I think she sensed it and did the right thing. Tried to hit around it, obviously, but just not enough on it. Caught the, caught the net and falls on her side for the attack error. And had to make it 11 to 7. Was just two point game a little bit ago, not too many possessions ago, Dave, and Northern has responded. A 4 0 lead. A 4 0 run, I should say. Strong hit by Armantrot. Did she find the corner? She did. Number 14, Kelly Armantrot. Six foot kill. senior out of Lima, Shawnee, so nice, kind of a hometown. Venue for Armantrout out of Shawnee High School. Six foot senior delivered a nice kill. Ella Taylor will serve it up, 5-5. Five, five. Server hits it long and the point goes to Ohio Northern. A 
makes it 12 to 8. Woods over to Taylor, back to Woods, and Woods will end up with the kill. Well, you hear that headed off the high hand. She did, and that touched a couple polar bears, but drops for a point, a much needed point for the Beavers. They trail by three. Right now, the Beavers hitting under 200 at 188 here early in the match. Abby Lawhead with the serve. Get into the net. That was Ellinger. It went down on the left-hand side. So I thought it was deflected back, but it's actually muscled through there. Allinger got it down on the beaver side, a kill for her. I know they're just very strong up front. Yeah, they have a lot of attackers. They're hitting very well. They're hitting 368 already. That's a very good hitting percentage. Hit up front there by Haley Barnett, or corrected there, hit by Parkinson. Point there goes to, to Bluffton. Number 14, Kelly Armentrout. That's twice now we've seen her attacks go down for kills, and both times she's deflected them off of would be blockers. Elizabeth Barbara into the Ohio Northern line as close sample will serve out of Wapakoneta. Sample. And that serve's going to be long. And Ohio Northern picks up a point on the serving error. It's 14-10. Don't think it. I don't think it missed by much, but uh, I had to wait for the line judges to signal aggressive serve, but it goes out of bounds. Jennings with the serve for Ohio Northern, and the point there by number four, Becca Pack. 5'11 sophomore out of Lexington High School. Excellent, excellent play by Pack. Waiting for that overpass to break the plane and then, you know, directed it down right away. Made good downward contact. Gave the Polar Bears really little chance to, to make a play on it. And our score is 14 to 11 on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Ella McCombs to serve for Bluffton. Dennings back over to Conrad and James comes through. A couple more subs coming in for Ohio Northern. Number five, Kate Zellers. And number 25, Caroline Hensley. Got a timeout. All timeouts this season brought to you by Precision Strip, our score. First set action, Ohio Northern 15, Bluffton College 11. You're watching College Volleyball on MK Telco Sports. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge-free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Back here at Ohio Northern, 15 to 11, our score. Polar Bears up by four. Just taking a look at some of those numbers, Jeff. Boy, that hitting percentage, excellent for Ohio Northern. 381 so far, and that's uh, 21 attacks. They've already gotten 10 kills, seven kills for the Bluffton Beavers. They're hitting at 250, so it's been a good attacking performance. And we've seen a numerous hitters get rewarded and the last play with James that was a quick offense but set and a quick set and she went down with it quick they ran a quick offense and Pack out of goes for the kill but it's out of bounds and Ohio Northern bumps the lead up to 16 to 11 and Caroline Hensley will continue to serve At the net, James will retrieve it. Hensley and sending it deep and getting the point. Number five, Kate Zellers, a 5'9 freshman. Boy, nice decision, nice touch. Just inside the 30-foot line, kill for, for Conrad. I'm sorry, for um, number five, Zellers. 
Ensley stays in serve. Here come the Beavers, and with the kill is Chloe Barnett out of Wapakoneta. She'll get the kill. Kind of looked like maybe a a missed shuffle of some sort on yeah. the Iowa Northern defense yeah. there. James Bluffton right at the net. They will return it. Soft touch up front. Number 12, Carsonson with the kill, but again, kind of a, a spot attack right there, but it works. 18 to 12, our score. Grace Ermer will serve it up for the Bears. And once again, Chloe Barnett out of Wapakoneta with the kill. She comes into tonight's contest with 61 kills. Has two here in game number one, back-to-back -back kind of variety as she checks out as they rotate now, as she would have rotated to the back row. And number 16, Emma Oregon will serve for Bluffton. 18-13 our score. Hensley with the set. And Ellinger with the kill. So that is her 13. Her fourth kill. And that leads all attackers tonight for the polar bears. But there's been a handful of them that have recorded kills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different polar bears have recorded kills. Substitute here for Bluffton as number five, Jenna Woods, will come back into the lineup. James with the service error for the Polar Bears, their second service mistake of game one. Flew Hardy with the serve. Hansley. And once again, Ellinger making her presence known here tonight. Ava with the kill. Yeah, she, uh, she gets up, and there have been downward shots. That's her fifth kill. She's hitting over 800 here in this game number one, so the Beavers have not found a, an answer to, to stop her. She's on a roll of five quick kills here in the, in the, in the game one. And Grace Conrad goes back in to serve for Ohio Northern. Comes the set, hit. Woods, Ohio Northern coming right back. Ellinger. Sounds like a broken record. Six Finds of it them. again, Jeff. And she's done it numerous ways. We've seen her power. We've seen her place. And again, that one kind of a placement kill, but that's her sixth kill of game one. Conrad back up front to Flew Hardy. Nice shot. Number six. And coming with a strong hit is Casey Sager out of Troy. Her third kill of the game. But boy, that was her right front. She went diagonally and hit it solid and much needed point for the Beavers. They trail by six. 21-15 our score on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Abby Lawhorn, the freshman, serves it up for the Beavers. Conrad takes it back over. Here comes the set and the hit by Woods and she'll get the kill. Five kills in the game now for number five, Jenna Woods. She's a very good 364 hitting percentage here in game one. We talk about the Polar Bears attacking with Ellinger over almost 900 or eight and a half. Still a 357 for Woods is a very good percentage. Wagner, strong hit. Beavers good on the defense, comes the hit back. Hit the good approach, solid hit by Woods again. But it hit the, the pin on the attack, so that's a hitting attack error against Woods. Double block forced her to go left and she did but uh, clipped the pin on her way Ellinger the serve uh, Northern readies the attack for Wagner and Aaron Wagner comes up with a kill that's her fourth of the game and the left-hander has recorded three of those four out of the left out of the right front nice hitting for the left-hander and the timeout taken by Bluffton Timeouts all brought to you by Precision Strip. Ohio Northern is up 23-16 over Bluffton. 
take a look at some of the numbers that we have had so far here in our first set. You know, you take a look at Ohio Northern. And uh, Ohio Northern here in the first set so far, they're on the edge with 23 points. They have 16 kills to Bluffton's 11. Taking a look at attack errors. Bluffton with four attack errors. Ohio Northern with just two. Hitting percentage. Ohio Northern just hitting up at a 467 clip compared to 241 for Bluffton. That 467 exceptional for the Polar Bears. 16 assists. Both teams with one serve ace each. And both teams have a couple of serve errors. Diggs, Ohio Northern 14 to 10 over Bluffton. We're underway as Ohio Northern tries to wrap this first set up. Good movement by the Polar Bears as number 23 is Sonia Dowling with the kill. Well, right out of the timeout, the Polar Bears continue to attack. They're now serving game point. Dowling records her third kill. Again, multiple attackers here in game one for the Polar Bears. And the overpass. Well, uh, Dowling, emphasis there. And the point goes to Ohio Northern, and so does the first set. Ohio Northern a winner. They go up 1-0. Ohio Northern 25. Bluffton College 16. You're watching College Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Too powerful at the net for Bluffton, but the Beavers, you know, playing it tight. It was it was a little bit tighter at the beginning. It was kind of a two-point game in there, and then Northern got a two-point run to go up by four, and then all of a sudden it was, you know ended up being a nine-point game. But I think Northern really got the momentum plays later in the set, got some powerful kills from numerous attackers, and that just overpowered. I think they just won the gas pedal the, the whole time and just basically ran over the Beavers near the end of the set for the nine point victory. They hit a very good 500% attack. That's incredible, I yeah, think, that's, isn't that's, it? Yes. That's pretty good. That's uh, <laughs> that's that's a lot of, that's, that means you get a lot of kills on not a lot of attacks and very few hitting errors. So bottom line is they didn't make many attack errors and that helped them prevail by 9, 25 to 16. Yeah, when you have a hitting percentage of 500, 17 assists and not very many mistakes that leads yeah. to a 25 16 win bluffton only had four attack errors but aha northern under 32 attempts 18 kills and just two attack errors meaning one got blocked bluffton had a termination block and the other attack was either in the net or out of bounds so those were their only two errors and that's uh, that helps a great percentage of 500. bluffton is three and six coming into tonight's play and uh, you know coming off a 16 and 11 season a year ago but 
They lost. They have a they, lot of young players out there on the court for Coach Steve Yarnell. Yes, Coach mentioned they graduated some a lot of players that played a lot of points, if you will. So a young squad that, uh, you know, he said like with any young team, you have some great high moments and you also have some bad low moments, and it's going to take them a while. And and believe me, they're getting a they're getting a a workout tonight against the team that's ranked 23rd in Division Three and a team that has kind of owned Bluffton over the years. I mentioned 70 to 13, the overall series margin in favor of Ohio Northern. You're playing on the road. Northern does not lose many home matches. So a tough hill. And Ohio Northern's playing loose and free. You yes. can just tell it. Yeah, they, they've just been playing clean. The digging earlier, we saw a couple great saves defensively by the Polar Bears. So just when we think Bluffton was going to get a point, Polar Bears kept it alive. All right, second set underway. Conrad with the serve. Front line of Ohio Northern doing the job. They send it back deep. Wagner hits it. Back over to Conrad. Ellinger tries to get it. Conrad regroups. Wagner going for the kill, and she'll get the point. A long volley there, and Bluffton had some nice touches at the net against some Ohio Northern attacks, but in the end, you know, just too much offense. You know, Bluffton couldn't get a ball, if you will, really in the system for great offense and did a good job playing defense for a while, but in the end, it's the left-hander, Ellinger, with the kill. Get up front, and that's going to be in. Sager, number six. She Casey muscled it. Sager. Yep. Did a nice job. Much needed point. She's just a freshman out of Troy, you mentioned earlier, so big play by her. She checks out as she rotates to the back row. Lawhorn with the serve, shoots it into the corner, but Ermer will have it, sends it to the front row. Wagner with a soft touch, and Bluffton just unable to return it. I mentioned, I think I had the names backward. Yes, Wagner had to kill earlier, and then this one, correct? Just now? Yep. So, yeah, she's done a nice job. And again, very solid front row play from number 16, Aaron Wagner. Carson's into the lineup for Ohio Northern. And nice return by Bluffton, but it goes, it's out. So Ohio Northern will pick up the point. It's 3 1. Polar Bears thought that was in, but it's hard to see from the angle Correct. that we've got from where we're. The seated. Beavers were hoping their dig was successful, but Dolan gets the kill on the hard driven attack. Ellinger tries to get it. Conrad Wagner sends it back over. Beavers setting it up. Here comes the attack. Polar Bears will block it, and they'll send it deep, and the point goes to Ohio Northern. Tough break for number four, Becca Pack. Uh, she just tried to keep it alive with a fist, and it just carried long out of bounds by about six inches, and another point for the Polar Bears. Ava Ellinger with the serve. She'll come up and field it. Conrad set. Carsonson is going to come back, and it could be, be Ohio Northern point. Carsonson with the kill. And again, right into the block of the Beavers, but uh, it deflects a few inches, in this case, a couple feet out of bounds. So again, Bluffton got a hand on it, but they couldn't control it. Soft touch, but Polar Bears will send it right back. And Boy, Dolan got a, a nice attack there. It's a bang, bang play at the net. Dolan, again, another kill here in game number two. Ellinger continues to serve. Ohio Northern up 6-1. Net serve, and it's... Going to find a, find the court, and that's an ace. Bluffton will call a timeout. Ohio Northern off to a good start here in the second set. All timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip. Our score, Ohio Northern 7, Bluffton 1. You're watching College Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Iowa Northern with a great start here in the second set, Jeff. They 
had to work a little bit in set number one, but set number two is seven to one. Well, they're kind of starting off, I think, in set two, how set one ended. Ohio Northern kind of dominated, winning most of those points to end set one, and they've jumped out to a 7-1 start here. And again, a lot of things going well. The last serve was a net, caught the net and dropped in for a service ace. So Polar Bears playing well. Bluffton needs a side out. Carsonson, soft touch, guards the net. It will fall and it's in and High Northern has the point. She didn't hit it hard, but the first contact went to where the attacker was who was retreating to get ready to hit. So again, anywhere else on the court, it's probably played, but it actually was deflected to a place where the girl was retreating and there's no one there. So it results in a kill. And when, let's say when things are going well, yeah, things are going good. And uh, Bluffton right now, you know, in a bind here. And again, a good first contact is always important. If you can get it, try to start your offense and spread it around so you can catch the Northern defense off balance so they can't double block. Allinger continues in the serve. Jennings comes up quickly. Conrad sends it back over. Here comes the set and going for the corner. Becca Pack, but that's going to be long, and Ohio Northern's lead is now 9-1. Allinger, at long last it ends for this Ohio Northern senior. Nine to two our score. And that's gonna put number 13. Jenna Brenninger, or excuse me, number 13. Close sample in serve for Bluffton. Right side hit, there it is. Sonia Dowling with the kill. We've called her name a lot here in game number two. I believe that's her third kill of game number two. Overall, she now has, I believe, five kills in the match, but uh, had a nice start here. She's contributed to those 10 points the Polar Bears have put up here in game two. James returns to the lineup for Ohio Northern. Jennings. James with the set at the net. Point goes to Bluffton. Well, nice battle there by Chloe Barnett. She hung with it and gets her third kill on the contested play and gets it to drop in front of the Polar Bear defense. Mallory Fluharty will come back into the front line and Kennedy Parker out of Lima Central Catholic will come in for Bluffton and she'll serve. They could use some consecutive serves here from Parker. Wagner. Boy, right down the line, they rule it inbounds. She has been a dynamite out of that right front. She's left-handed and she has taken full advantage of it. We've got her down, I believe, for seven kills. But how many times in that first set did we see her right in front of us go, you know, left-handed power? This time she was in over across by the up judge and went right down the line. Hensley with the serve. Beavers trying to pick the point up as Dennings unable to get up and make the play on that. And it's 11 to four. Becca Pack with the serve and it's gonna be long. Each team now with three service errors in the match. as number 20, Grace Ermer, will return to the Ohio Northern lineup. She'll serve. 12 to four, our score on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Blue Hardy with the set. Comes the hit from the right side. And number 14, Ava Ellinger, with the kill, and it's 13 to four. Well, she now ties Aaron Wagner for team lead with seven kills each in the match. Both of those girls, Ellinger and also Wagner, hitting very well for the Polar Bears. Barnett out of bounds, and it's 14-4, High Northern. How many attacks have we seen by Bluffton that have just missed by a foot or so, whereas Northern's just the opposite. They're just a foot or so in bounds. 
So much of that is just because of the net play. There you see James. Hensley comes the set. And Kate Zellers will come up with the big hit. And Ohio Northern's lead stretches to 15 to 4. Well, she's not 6 1, she's 5 9, but. She replaces Wagner. Both those girls are left-handed, and you see how the power is. She smoked that one as well, so Northern has two left-handers playing the right front. Lou Hardy. She muscled that one through. That was Seger with the kill. But she muscled it through. She now has four kills on the night. And Ohio Northern's lead at 15-5, but in serve now will be number 16, Emma Oregon. Oregon will serve it. Hensley fields it. Ellinger going for the line, and she'll get it. Oregon kind of caught in between there and puts the hand on the ball. It goes out of bounds. More subs for Ohio Northern, number seven, Chelsea May. Ellinger, though, Dave, again, a multiple ways she can deliver the ball. That time it was kind of like a stiff arm push right down the line. Bluffton not able to make the play. Blue Hardy. Ellinger long from the opposite side. Point goes to Bluffton. It's 16 to 6. Well, she, that's her first error of the night attacking. Eight kills. And now just the one error, eight of 11 attempts, and just the one error, so an eight, I'm um, sorry, 636 hitting percentage. Flat ball is tough to play. Nice serve. And the point goes to Bluffton, 16 to seven. Fluharty really had some movement on that serve. It went across the net and dropped like it fell off the table. Seven aces on the season for Fluharty. Over to the right side, set across there by number five, Zellers. Comes the strong hit, and it's going to be long as number, number, s number five, I do believe. Yep. And that ball hit the line judge, and he's standing about a foot off the court. So, again, a great shot, and it short hops the line judge. So, you know, it didn't miss by much, but just could not get it inside the 30 by 30 square. Woods with the hit and serve continues. Well, I take it back. So did they rule a touch then, Dave? Yep. Okay. They must have. Yep. Sorry. Serve goes back to Bluffton. Termination block. Looks like seven and fourteen. May and Ellinger combined on the block assist. And Wagner comes back into the lineup, and also to serve comes Grace Conrad. So we got Ellinger and Wagner back up front and headed our way out of bounds. Kill it's at 17 him. to nine. Good swing there by the Beavers getting off of the blockers of the Polar Bears. That's a difficult task. Bluffton or Ohio Northern's done a nice job touching attacks by the Bluffton Beavers to slow them down and let their back row pick them up. And Bluffton will. Get the point as Chelsea May up front there for Ohio Northern. Ball goes out of bounds and continuing in serve is Abby Lawhorn. Becca Pack for the Bluffton Beavers. Part of that defense that got the ball to drop on the polar bear side. Conrad to Wagner. Net. Net violation. On Pack. She, when um, I saw it, when she went, came down the block, she caught the net. So that'll give a kill to the polar bears. And Ava Ellinger will see if she can pick it up once more. Eight point Ohio Northern lead. Ellinger will try to keep it in. Point goes to Bluffton, 18 to 11. Chloe Sample, number 13 with the kill. Elizabeth Barbara comes back into the lineup for Ohio Northern. Close sample to serve. Sends it deep. Jennings has it. Conrad over to Wagner. Wagner gets it inside and point goes to the Polar Bears on the Wagner kill. Nine kills now for Wagner. 
No errors attacking for Wagner. A very good 900 hitting percentage. She's nine out of 10. Nine kills and 10 attempts. Strong hit, but Ohio Northern is there. I think the ball was hit into the net by the Beavers. Never went across, but boy, the Northern defenders, as you mentioned, were there. It would have been a tough, unless she really would have cut it hard, she didn't have much room to go. Jennings with the serve. Comes a set right side, number 11. That's Cassie. Cassie Bomar, number 11, into the lineup. Her first kill, and boy, that was an, a, a, a hole, and she read it. She's got a it, smile on her face, well, too. Well, she should have. That was an excellent play, good placement. Got a break in the action. Timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip, Ohio Northern 21, Bluffton 11. You're watching College Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. The hometown opportunity platform is exceptional. It is focused, laser focused on the careers in our four county region. 100% of the time we go to hometown opportunity. Uh, we've had great success from a handful of applications when we need them, as well as a recent one where we had 67 applicants. Honestly, it's a competitive advantage. The hometown experience has been everything I could have dreamed of and more. All timeouts this season brought to you by the folks at Precision Strip. High Northern, Bomar with a big play for the Polar Bears, a night where lots of people seeing action for Ohio Northern. They're up one set, just about to make it a 2-0 advantage as they lead 21 to 11, and they've been pretty convincing in set number two, Jeff. They just haven't made many mistakes. You know, they had a good win in game one. We just haven't seen anything sloppy. It's like uh, very disciplined. And Bluffton hasn't been sloppy. They've, I think they've, they've had a few bad breaks. You know, it's, it's, there's a good swing by number 10, a much needed kill for Barnett, but Bluffton, some of their attacks go foot out of bounds, whereas Northern's attacks go foot in bounds. Uh, you know, just little stuff like that. The deflection off the first touch went to where the attacker was. She was retreating to go hit, and it fell right where she was at. So it just kind of, it just seems like good teams get those breaks and other teams that, are struggling a little bit, don't get the, the break. Conrad over to Wagner. Beavers will send it over, but it will go out on the hit, and it's 22 to 12. Aaron Wagner down double figures with kills. 10 kills here through game, or in near the end of game two, and the Polar Bears continue, Dave, to hit the ball very well. Remember, we were talking about 500 hitting percentage right now at 491 so they have not let off the gas and anything over to me 200 250 is really good it's hard to score in college volleyball northern really hitting well tonight they'll continue hensley with the serve at the net james and bomar go at it ball comes across but it's out of bounds and ohio northern inching closer to that second set win i'm not for sure which it was whether it was bomar or james but when you have two weapons up there, both salivating for that ball to cross the, the plane. One of them got it, and then it caroms off a, a beaver out of bounds. Point, as you said, to 23rd of game two for the Polar Bears. Caroline Hensley with a serve. The setter violation, double hit, it looked kind of awkward. She was trying to bring it back, and you got to do that pretty clean or else they'll whistle you, and that's exactly what happened. But overall, Dave, not many setters mistakes at all here through game two. Hensley again. Here comes the set. And wow, there's nice. the kill by Chloe Barnett. That's her fourth of the match. And again, things not always going the way she wanted it tonight, but she got on top of that one and gets her fourth kill of the match and keeps her team alive. Number eight, Sasha Bowens out of New London High School will serve it up. Comes the set. Boy, James just winds up. That's a trouble. Nice set. Good hit by James. And Ohio Northern takes set number two, 25-13. 2-0 set advantage. Ohio Northern will move on to our third set. You're watching College Volleyball on NK Telco Sports.
for a rewarding career? Lincoln Electric Automation in Coldwater and Fort Loramie supplies top-of-the-line automation systems to manufacturers. Lincoln Electric Automation routinely develops its team through hiring and by offering advanced technical training. We understand that every employee matters and every role contributes to the success of our business. We offer advancement opportunities, competitive wages, and benefit packages. Visit LincolnElectric.com and get on track to a better career and a better future. We are here and here and here. Minster Bank is everywhere providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Minster Bank is here for you. We proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. High Northern enjoying a 2-0 advantage over Bluffton. High Northern ranked number 23 in the latest coaches poll that just came out uh, this week. And they took the first set 25-16, bounced back 25-13 for another victory in the second set. And we move on to the third set for uh, Bluffton and Ohio Northern. You know, one thing I'm a little bit amazed at, Jeff, is we had the tournament last year at Saul Ohio Northern Volleyball. We got a lot of experience coming back. A new coach, but nonetheless, one that's familiar with the OAC, coaching at Wilmington, did a great job down there with the Quakers program. Ohio Northern is ranked fourth in the preseason poll in the, the OAC. OAC. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, Maybe that's a little bit surprising. Yeah, they're they're doing very well. They they had a good tournament out in Wisconsin, lost some a uh, game out there, a match I should say. So yeah, the number what number three team in the country. Yes. <laughs> so I mean, they they are playing crisp tonight, and I mean obviously they're the favorite tonight, but they have not let up. It's just kind of an have multiple players coming in. It seems like a lot of people getting some court time. And uh, you haven't seen a, a break and a let off. Everyone's playing aggressive. And not that Bluffton has been doing dumb things. It's just you can't field shots over and over. Unless you get that good first touch and you can run offense, you're constantly, seems like you're playing defense all the time. And before long, and you try to force the other team into mistakes, Northern hasn't done that. They've just been consistent and um, given, taking advantage of the opportunities they've been given. And that's balls of overpasses that they that they murder, you know, they take advantage of it. They free balls and stuff and light hits. Northern's just been very clean tonight. And very impressive for the 23rd ranked team in the nation, Division Three. Yeah, and in the Invitational, I believe the one match on Saturday, uh, I believe Saturday it is, and I have to double check on the calendar on the schedule, but they're gonna play number five, Calvin, out of mm -hmm. Michigan. So, good volleyball coming up here for Ohio Northern as they jump out to a 1-0 lead here in our third set as they try to make, uh, I guess you could say, quick work of Bluffton. Sager will get it across. Wagner off balance, and it's going to be a violation on Ten. Bluffton yeah. across the line. Chloe Barnett got whistled. I'm not so sure. Sounds like their fingers caught the net ever so slightly. I don't know that Barnett agrees with it, and she didn't say anything negative, but I think she was surprised when the whistle was blown. Tough break again for Barnett. Looked like she had to kill the point for the Beavers, but instead it's a 2-0 lead for the Polar Bears. Strong hit by the Beavers, but here comes the attack. Ellinger. Ava Ellinger out of Tecumseh High School. They're New Carlisle with another kill. That gives her nine in the match. And Conrad will continue the serve. Again, the Beavers are in the net. This time it's number nine. Flew Hardy caught, made contact with the net. So another point for the Polar Bears and a, a good start for them. As you mentioned, they're trying to make quick work of this and uh, Right now, off to a good start here in game three. Conrad continues to serve for Ohio Northern. And timing off on that one is Sager 
unable to get the hit and Lufton coach Steve Yarnell says let's talk about things timeout brought to you by precision strip our score Ohio Northern five Lufton nothing third set action you are watching college volleyball on NK Telco Sports New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Lufton with the air there, and Coach Steve Yarnell says, let's talk about things. Well, and a couple unforced errors. I mean, marginal, but they touched the net. You know, the one took a point away from them, but uh, again, we haven't seen a lot of those things from the polar bears. So again, a game of inches. I've talked about some of their attacks just missing out of bounds. Some minor net infractions here on a follow-through where you get a point, and then you don't because you make contact with the net. It's just been uh, tough work, and then you know, you have a nice libero for the polar bears that can chase everything down, keeps Eric. it alive, and another kill for Wagner. Wagner just slams it home. Casey Sager, freshman out of Troy, as Conrad serves it. Right side hit there by Barnett. Jennings gets it across. Comes the hit from deep. Oh, there's there. There's a set. Jennings, Wagner. Never went over, I believe, is the ruling or a double contact. So long volley, Bluffton. It wasn't a pretty volley. There were some unorthodox and some mistimed attacks. But boy, the Beavers hung in there and they finally get what they need. And that's their, should be their second point, correct? They were 6-1, I believe. Okay, that's right. Point thought, number one. I was thinking they served Wagner. Them. Well, well that's just a routine delivery. Yeah, right now, really no answer for for the Beavers to kind of get a, to slow down Wagner. She's just elevating and hitting around the blocks, over the blocks, through the blocks. Allinger sends it to the back row. Sager takes it across. Allinger to her knees. Conrad tries to get it up front to Dolling, but the point's going to go to the Beavers as they Kate, return. Yeah, much needed Casey Sager. Nice job by her. She'll get her sixth kill of the match. Did a nice job reading the ball, timing it, putting it down with two hands to get it on the polar bear side for the kill. Blue Hardy with the serve, but there's the point by Katie Cartsonson. Well, the blockers took away the middle attack, and it didn't bother Carsonson at all. She didn't have a lot of a big window to get it through, and she smoked it right down the line, just inside for the kill. Lawhorn sends it across. Polar Bears reshuffling. Wagner goes for the line. Out of bounds. Gonna be out of bounds. That might be her first attack error, second attack error of the night. So in. Hasn't happened very often. In 15 attacks, she's hit the ball, you know, out of bounds or in the net twice. And oh, by the way, she has 12 kills. <laughs> not a bad day's work. No, it's not. Hitting 667. Sager. James. Nice placement again. Just an inch or two out of the reach of the Beavers defense to make a clean play. They touched it, but it kind of deflected it further away. Again. Good job by James in this case, and she's one another of those multiple attackers. James with five kills in the match. So a host of uh, a lot of weapons for the Polar Bears tonight. Caroline Hensley. Oh, nice Woods. play. Beautiful. Good move by Jenna Woods. Didn't have a lot to work with, and you know, that's her seventh kill. Somehow whipped it with her right hand. Almost parallel to the net, dropped it basically within just a couple feet of going over the net on the opposite side of the court for her seventh kill. Gets a well-earned point for the Beavers. 
Jennings back over to Carstensen. She'll get the kill and the serve returns to Ohio Northern. She now has six kills in the match and she will sit down. Grace Hermer comes in to serve. The right side hit by Barnett. Good, good dig by Ermer. Allinger ball tipped. Bluffin got good offense. They got a nice set from Flu Hardy and a good attack. Polar Bears there to defend, and then their shot again. Deflected, out of bounds. Point Polar Bears, seven point lead. Ermer with the serve. Flu Hardy. And point there goes to Armantrop. No, that was, yeah, you're right. Who's back into yep. the lineup. Yep, she uh, timed it well. She got her first touch blocked or touch back by James, but hung in it, hung in, hung with it. Now has three kills in the match. But Combs will come back in to serve. 11 to five, our score. Jennings, Ellinger, Beavers unable to get it back over as Fluharty hits it into the net. 12-5 Ohio Northern. Ellinger with a dozen kills. And again, not a powerful touch, but got the tip. Beavers, like as you mentioned, could not recover. Another point, 12 in the game. I'll make it 13. So James in serve. She'll continue. Service ace, I believe, there for James will be her first of the match. Two and hit, double hit. Goes to Ohio Northern. Right idea. Just couldn't get it cleanly done by Flu Hardy. She saw the hole, sensed it, but uh, whistled for the double hit. James with another serve. Bringing it across. Polar Bears, now the Beavers with the set. And good kill there as, well, a Barnett touch. hits it long and got tipped, didn't it? Yeah, yep. they'll give Barnett the kill. So much needed point for the Beavers on the deflection, but a kill for Barnett. Lawhorn with the serve, sends it across. And Sonia Dolling gets the kill, and lead is at 15 to six. Dolling now with six kills in a match, and again, just multiple attackers all swinging pretty well tonight, making very good contact. 24, 25 assists from Grace Conrad tonight to lead the Polar Bears. Right side. At time, Barnett gets the kill. Her sixth and a nice swing for Barnett out of the right front. Emma Oregon back into the Bluffton lineup. Obzarski, Jocelyn Obzarski into the lineup for Ohio Northern. Freshman out of Macaulay High School in Cincinnati. She'll get a chance to hit. Got it around the blocker, but just too much on it, out of bounds, wide left. But right idea, a good cut from the middle attack. And boy, that's instant offense. She just got in, and ball goes right to her. She hit it just wide left, though. Comes the set. Ellinger. She'll get the kill. Diving effort there by Ella McCombs, but 16 to 8, our score. Again, Ellinger out of the right front was moving towards the middle and actually hit the ball back to her right side. A difficult arm movement, but got it to drop for her 13th kill of the match. Blue Hardy sets it up for Sample. Polar Bear is trying to chase it down, but point goes to Bluffton. Well hit ball by Chloe Sample. That's her second kill of the match, and it deflected well off the court, but a nice attack, good set from Flew Hardy, and Jenna Woods 
into the lineup for Bluffton as Mallory Fluharty will serve it out of Triway High School in Wooster. Olivia Bauman, freshman, number 27, seeing some playing time for Ohio Northern. It's kind of nice how the subs is going because even though you're bringing in a younger player, you're still playing with a more experienced player for Ohio Northern. Jennings service goes into the net, 17 to 10, our score. Eight different polar bears have recorded a kill. That last one from, you mentioned number 27, Olivia Bowman. You know, that's um, nice to see a lot of players getting some action. And you know, Bluffton yep. down by seven, wasn't it? A 10-point deficit, 15-5 maybe. So they've, they've, well, it's back to eight now. I thought maybe they're making a bit of a run. You know, here tried to maybe catch the polar bears, you know, Maybe overlooking them a bit, but boy, the Polar Bears have not done many mistakes tonight. Good reason why they're up 2-0 and up by eight here in a, what could be an elimination game for the Beavers, game three. Sellers and Hensley back into Ohio Northern's lineup. Hensley will serve it. Comes the hit. Let's up, but Jennings has it. A strong hit there by number Bowman. 27, B Bauman. Yeah, she hit it long. That's her attack error for her, but uh, good swing. Getting the feel of things out on the court. Sample. High toss. Strong serve. Jennings. To the floor goes Hensley, and that's a nice ace for Bluffton as it's 18 to 12. For Sample, her first ace of the night. Entered tonight's play with seven aces on the season. Strong serve. James, but good defense by the Beavers, but James and Zeller block right, assist. Zeller's come right back at it. Yeah, they did a nice job with the tandem block on the night now, the Polar Bears have just three blocks. Blocking is so hard to score on. We, we say block a lot, but the only time it's a true block is if it scores a point. Each team has three termination blocks in the match. So when you see a player that's averaging one block a game, that never made it, attack error. But you know, blocking is hard to do. You don't see high numbers of those. But again, we often call it blocks at the net and touches, but it's a tough skill to have. If you can master it, you'll find playing time. Ermer with the serve. Well, and nice, Woods will get the kill. Nice offense there. I think it was Flew Hardy with the set, but number five, Woods with the kill, her eighth. And she had that nicely on the right front, kind of had to almost let the ball come over her shoulder, but finished nicely. Lots of young players. At the Bluffton Woods only a sophomore. At Combs with the serve, Ellinger. Barnett with a hit, James at the net. And despite the Bluffton defense, James will get the kill and it's 21-13. Her fifth, and again, Bluffton was there, had a couple of double blockers right there, but uh, James able to deflect it off the side for her seventh, I'm sorry, fifth kill tonight. Serves that one into the net. And that gives the serve back to Bluffton, and that's Abby Lawhorn. Libero for Bluffton will serve. Jennings hit by Zellers and Zellers will pick up the kill. Katie Zellers makes it a 21-14 score. 
her third kill in the match. She'll now set or serve, but again, she's uh, basically plays left that right front. She's a left-hander. Ohio Northern continues to attack very well, still hitting as a team at 488. So that percentage, Dave, has not really dropped. They started up well, and it's just been steady. So they've not let off. They've rotated some extra players in as well. So even with all that, let's say, new faces coming onto the court and attacking, they've really maintained a high level of attacking tonight. And, you know, Jennings is the libero. She's done a nice job getting the ball on offense, uh, getting that good first touch. Their setter, Conrad, has done a nice job. Uh, number three, yes, Grace Conrad, 26 assist already and no ball handling mistakes by Conrad. So she's played a clean game. Just a lot of good things tonight for the home team tonight, the Polar Bears. Inching closer to picking up their seventh win of the season as Kate Zellers serves it and she'll get an ace. Again, tough decision. It's one of those tweener balls. You don't want to land in bounds. And as a player, when you see it coming towards your face, you're like, well, I don't know. I better protect myself. And that's kind of what happened. Last minute decision, ace for the Polar Bears. Zeller right back to the same spot. Sager. Sager will get the kill. Aha Northern was in the net. Sager now matches her jersey number with six kills. Anytime there's a, a blocking error like that where Northern was in the net, the attacker, whether the ball goes inbounds, out of bounds, gets recorded or gets credit for the kill because you drew the defense, let's say, into the net trying to stop you. Lofton with the serve. Here comes the set. Ellinger out. Again, good cut, but it didn't miss by much. She has not made many attack errors on the night. Just her second Attacking error of the night, 19 attempts. 23-16, our score. Emma Oregon. That was a set, Allinger. Or rather, that was number 15, right? Well, yep, she Hope got Tarski it. Tarski gets her kill. Am I better, uh, judging by her teammates' reactions, I'm pretty sure she hasn't had many kills on the season, so it's good to see Rachel get a, a good swing in and get her first kill of the match. Match Goss point. Gosselin Abarski with that kill, and now Polar Bears will wrap it up. They'll take the third set, 25 to 16, 3 0. Ohio Northern moves to 7 and 1 overall. We'll take a break. We'll come back and recap things here tonight at Ohio Northern once again. 25-16 and set number three for Ohio Northern as they win 3-0 over Bluffton. You're watching College Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge-free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional.
Icon Opportunity serves Mercer County, Auglaize County, Dark County, and Shelby County. The website as a whole is pretty user friendly. I was able to filter down my options, um, see what types of jobs were out there for me in the area. It really opened up my eyes to the employer market around here. We know that our local candidates, a lot of times our most successful candidates because they want to come here and stay. It's become the go-to site for anybody looking for a job in the region. Back here at Ohio Northern University, Polar Bears, number 23 in the country. Just announced, I think that might have been just today, Polar Bears roll to a 3-0 win over Bluffton College. Uh, Polar Bears really do it in convincing fashion. Let's take a look at our statistics here tonight. Yeah, they dominated in all aspects of the game. Our cab report kills aces blocks, 27 kills for the Bluffton Beavers. 49 for Ohio Northern, it's right there, almost doubled them up in the kill category. Aces, uh, Bluffton had three, Ohio Northern five. The blocking, Bluffton with three, and Ohio Northern with five, or, um, three blocks as well. So really the difference was the attacking. I talked about accelerator down, full throttle. They ran wide open all match, never let up, and they just played clean. It was like a machine. Um, I thought they, they dug well. Bluffton had some early attacks early on, but Ohio Northern was able to keep those alive and just right, go right into offense. And uh, when you're setting the ball up in the air and your hitters are hitting off a tee, it makes it a lot easier than when you're hitting out of rhythm. So job well done. You know, Bluffton, I thought, in the first set, played decent for a while. They hung in there. But then towards the end, it was just like everything Northern did was right, and Bluffton just did the right things, but they landed out of bounds a little bit, or maybe caught the net, or out of bounds, or a deflection off their fingers. Just not enough consistent plays, and Northern took advantage of it. Yeah, and you take a look at the hitting percentage for Ohio Northern, and that just pops off the page at you. Just a excellent statistic, and that shows you how well they played. 476. Um, and we talk about it being 500 through most of the night, so it never, it wasn't like a roller coaster. It was consistent. I mean, I check that thing often. It was up there all through the three games, so very consistent. Um, Bluffton finishes at 141, and the big thing with that hitting percentage, the total tax minus the errors divided, I'm sorry, kills minus the errors divided by total tax. So when you're hitting almost 500, you don't have a lot of mistakes, and you're getting it done efficiently. You know, pretty quick volleys, and again, Northern just very crisp tonight. Multiple hitters joined in on the party. Uh, leading the way for the Ohio Northern Polar Bears. 13 kills from Ellinger, 12 from Wagner, six from Carson, six from Doolin, or Dalen, five from James, three from Zellers, two from Bowman, one from Obs, Obs you say it. Obzarski. Yes, and one from Bauman. So uh, multiple attackers, new faces in there for Bluffton. Uh, Jenna Woods leads them with eight, Sager had six, Barnett six, and Arden and Trout with three to lead them in their attacking. But total domination tonight for the Polar Bears. Congratulations to them on a, a dominating performance in the first home game of the season. Ohio Northern goes to 7-1 overall. Bluffton falls to 3-7 and seven overall. Of course, Ohio Northern, they'll get ready for the big tournament coming up on Friday and Saturday right here at Ohio Northern. Some very good volleyball, including uh, one of the top-ranked teams in Calvin. Uh, will come in so some good volleyball on the horizon for ohio northern as we noted earlier they're ranked 23rd in the country i'd like to thank our crew here tonight for bringing you nk telco sports production of college volleyball from ohio northern on the cameras tonight jim miller paul downing mark thistle director tonight austin ambergie and our assistant director scott robinson I'm Dave Helmson, and along with me tonight, Jeff Henschen. Once again, Ohio Northern takes a three-set victory over Bluffton College. You've been watching College Volleyball on NK Telco Sports.